Well, good morning, good evening, and good night, everybody. This is Ty, the Blockbuster guy. I'm just coming at you with uh, the Matrix uh, Resurrections uh, trailer review. This time, it's not a tra uh, teaser trailer, <laughs> like I got duped with last time. Uh, like, cause uh, the the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home teaser trailer was pretty good. It was pretty long, so I was like, okay, cool, Matrix teaser trailer. <laughs> But it was a teaser trailer for this trailer, so I've already done a Matrix. I already talked about the first three movies. But now, I want to do the real trailer reaction to this fucking movie. So I'm going to put it on right now, and hopefully it's going to be this. Thomas? Deja vu? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you uh, tell me what Neil, Neil Patrick Harris. I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Yeah. A couple of Thomas, place. actually. I just realized that... We don't use that word in here. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, uh, this is a good song, actually. One... His Follow the White Rabbit. It's Carrie Ann Moss. So what happened? Did they all forget? That's what I'm thinking happened here. I think they all, somehow, they forgot what happened in the first three movies. Kind of like an eternal sunshine in the spotless mind thing. He's rocking those fucking blue pills. Wait. Wow, so they're kind of rehashing the whole thing with here. the first movie. I know it's why you're still fighting. Let's make it. Yeah, you, you know what? This... <laughs> you don't know me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like they're just doing the first movie over again. I don't want to see a fucking rehash of the first movie. I want to see a new story. That's my problem with Terminator 3. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the, the way that they put the trailer together. But I got a feeling they're just fucking telling the same story from the first movie again. I just, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's, uh, I bet you that's exactly what's happening here. After all these years, to be going Is back gonna to fly? where it started there. Back to the Matrix. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Watch it. I'm leaving it wrong. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not. I was kind of hoping for a new story. I just. I don't like rehashing just the same story over again. Like I was saying with Terminator 3. That was the biggest problem I had with that movie when I saw it in theaters. Was it was. Uh, it was exactly like beat for beat Terminator 2. And I was like, oh, come on. I want to see something new. But they're, funny enough, they did they did Terminator Salvation, and then I was like, you know, this movie's kind of boring. It's new, but it's kind of boring and forgettable. Ah. And then there's The Last Jedi as well, that everybody was complaining about how uh, Force Force Awakens was so similar to A New Hope, that they, they changed uh, Last Jedi so much that people hated it. There's a lot of people liked it too. Honestly, I kind of like it now, it's, except for the Cantabite. The Cantabite and... The, the last act in The Last Jedi was just too too long, but I liked the, there's the stuff with Luke I didn't mind, uh, stuff with Luke and Rey. But that, that Matrix, I'm actually disappointed. But that's just my first, my first impression on this trailer was, 
it just looks like the rehash and all the old scenes from the first movie. Like he's hold, he's holding back the the bullets, uh, fucking helicopter. He's finding out what the Matrix is, so it looks like they probably erased his memory from the last movie. So what are we gonna go through the whole thing again? <laughs> is this, this cycle again? Maybe we should just do a whole new story. I know it's cool, Keanu and Neo and everything, but it'd be kind of cool to have a new one because they even talk about that in the old movies, where there's always a, there's always a one in every cycle of of uh, the Matrix, and every, every generation's got a got a Neo basically, and then it just it just keeps on going. So you could have a new one. It's like the Skywalker thing as well, like to harken back to Star Wars. We almost don't need Neo anymore. You don't need the Skywalker to make a good Star Wars movie. You don't need the Skywalkers. You can do a new Star Wars movie without having Luke Skywalker or Anakin Skywalker or any of the Skywalkers. <laughs> I think you could do a Matrix movie without having Neo in it. Or you could do a fucking... Make it an actual sequel from what happened, but now... But then... Is this a reboot? Because what happened at the end of the Matrix Revolutions is he lost, or beginning of the Revolutions, he lost his eyesight and he died. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna like this movie. <laughs> I think I'll be like, yeah, it was alright, but nah, I'm just not happy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another top 10 very soon, but have a good one. Peace.